Okay, so Sam, here we are in the gents. Um, tell us about today, what are we doing? Well, we're filming the second half of the film today, which is uh, involving mainly Kate, doing her fantastic song, with our director on the piano. And uh, we're also filming the remainder of our sequence that's actually going to be for part three. Don't really know if I should tell you about it, but it will involve a very tall banana. Uh, I'm Jack Constantine. Um, I'm the producer of this film in terms of uh, supplying the money and <laughs> sorting out all of the kind of uh, lush elements that go on with this film. Um, is, it, is it true that all of the uh, food and decorations that are adorning the tables at the moment are all in fact lush products? Yeah, other than, the, other than the little uh, perfect special effect, other than the little strawberries and lemons, everything else is actually a lush product. We've got jellies in the cocktails and bubble bars on the table. My nice cheese platter here, which is actually entirely made of soap and a little crumbled up bubble bar thing there. Nick. Quite impressive, eh? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been a good fun to shoot this and great to see the lush elements come to life in Lush Town. Well Kate, can you tell us a little bit about today, like what, what you have to do today and how you're well, looking forward to it? Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, mainly today I am going to be singing uh, The Bubbles Have Gone on stage. Which you recorded the which, other week. Yes, which I recorded the other week. Um, and Henry is going to be my maestro playing on the piano. Have you done much of this sort of thing before? Um, I've done bits and bobs, yeah. Um, but this is nothing quite like this. Um, this is quite a unique set of short films, actually. Um, they've got such a good creative drive behind them. They're really, really good fun to do. It's, it's each one is slightly different. My name's Matt. I'm playing the barman. Actually, was um, up for the part of retro, yes. but uh, uh, it didn't work out. I was considered too tall because uh, uh, Sam Devereaux, in fact, is only three foot four. I wear the support belt here. You can see going around my hips, and there is actually a, there's a story behind this. I actually damaged my pelvis working on Lushtown One because we had a whole scene that ultimately had to get cut where Detective Retro has a fight, and uh, the person I was having a fight with was actually Jack. And um, in doing so, he actually managed to throw me head over heels backwards over my desk. <laughs> and it looked fantastic in the footage. And I actually managed to uh, separate uh, part of the ligaments in this part of my pelvis. Hence the fact I now have to wear this. And hence the fact that uh, Jack and I are not going to be going near each other on camera in this <laughs> See? That's one of my three faces I do. Is this one? Sure, sure. What's that for? That's just happy, generally ecstatic, you know, it's also my sex face, but you probably won't put that in. I always bring this book with me to every film I make, um, because I effectively, I, I, I base all of my acting techniques on William Shatner. I sent a few pictures to Henry. Um, I'd just been to a 1920s style um, fancy dress party, actually, which worked out rather well. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, he said that he wanted to, to have me involved. And that was it, really. And, and, then, and then there's just... Is that a sex face? That's bereavement. And this is pretty much it. I mean, there he is. Let's go to lunch time. So, Henry, how's Hello. it going today? Well, um... Yesterday we just had to deal with Sam and Matt uh, talking at the bar, the detective and the barman, little conversation, quite smooth. Today we're having to deal with about 15 extras, we're essentially shooting an entire music video sequence. Uh, we've got me cameoing as the piano player, so I can't look at the camera at the same time. It's a little tougher. A little multitasking A, li a little on. tougher. But uh, hey ho, that's showbiz. Hello. Wrong day to be filming this stuff. You should have been filming yesterday, it was so smooth. <laughs> yeah, genius. Yeah. It's really yeah. uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks so good, you're just going to have so. to put up with it. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall off the piano, I'm trying to roll the grace. Complicated 
shop full of trickery. This shall keep your eyes peeled. I really wish I hadn't said that. Can we, can we cut that from the from the making of? No. Okay, Henry. Hello. It's over. It certainly is. How do you think it yes. went? Um, it was a hell of a day today. It really was. Yesterday was a lot easier. Um, it was quite nice. It was quite relaxed. We had the competition with Rin, Sarah, who was really nice, and uh, and that went very smoothly. Today, we had a lot to deal with, but we did get it done, and um, and we didn't really have to cut any corners in the end. We got it all done in time, and it looks gorgeous. And we've done a little sneak peek uh, scene of episode three as well, so uh, that's gone down to well too. Okay, how do you think your song went? How do you think your routine oh, went? Oh, it was really good actually. Yeah, it's so much fun to do. So although lying atop the piano is quite uncomfortable. You were a little worried about getting off the piano as well, weren't you? Yeah, I don't think I flashed anything. I think I did all right. <laughs> It didn't look too ungraceful. <laughs> what about you, Sam? What did you think of the uh, performances today? Well, I think all the extras were fantastic. Kate obviously was amazing. As ever. An amazing job. <laughs> and as for myself, I Sorry. just hope wherever he is, Mr. Shatmar, I hope you're proud because that was for you. Oh, Sam. Kate has cemented her uh, status as an international sex symbol with this performance. Um, and I'm sure uh, it'll be appearing on. I'm, I can't say that. <laughs> I love today because we had, it was so much bigger than episode one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Because in episode one it was literally just the two of us yeah. and the crew, and this time we've had extras and everything, and they've really infused the mood, I think, into the really bolder, cool. bolder, badder. Yeah. <laughs> and there are so many lunch references as well in this one. Mm. But we're not giving any of you help, no. so don't ask. Mikey, so what do you think on this matter? No, no, kisses. I told you before. It's in a contract. I don't mind. <laughs> There's going to be some interesting things in the third one. It's uh, it's definitely going to be um, a whole new style for a while. Mm. Here's to Lush Town 2. Here's to Lush Town 2. I like to refer to this one as Peanut in Matt's Mouth. First take. Nice finish, man. I did prefer his William Shatner's rocket, man. That was lovely.